Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. We are going to be talking about the top five most underrated monitor species. Now these are going to be monitor lizards that are either over, often overshadowed by other monitor species or simply just have a bad reputation and just seen as bad in the public's eye. With all that being said, I guess it's time to sit back, relax, dive into some underrated monitor goodness and roll the intro. Real quick guys, before we get this video started, if you do find that you love this list, you know these are some pretty cool monitors in this list, if you don't mind doing me a huge favor and hitting that like button, hit that subscribe button, really help me out, really help out the channel, and you know, it's a win-win. I make more of these and you you just press a like button. I, I <laughs> pretty, it, I think it's a pretty good deal. Let's, uh, let's get the video. Kicking off this list, we're gonna be starting with number five, the Argus Monitor. Now, of course, when we're talking about Argus monitors, in the reptile community's mind as a stereotype, the Argus monitor is just an awful pet. Just a food-driven devil. These guys are horrible. You can't tame them down. They are just bad monitor lizards. Not a good choice. But I don't think that's necessarily true. Don't get me wrong. The Argus monitor is, uh, what's the, uh, what's the proper way to, uh, highly food-motivated would be the best phrase. Uh, while these guys can be a little spunky and, of course, not the best to tame down, I guess they were putting that, that's not to say that they aren't an amazing monitor species. Uh, especially since owning mine, they are just, just seeing the intelligence behind an Argus monitor is incredible. Seeing that problem-solving skill, going with those tongue flakes, taking in that information, uh, it's definitely an amazing thing to see. Uh, not only that they are just gorgeous animals probably one of the most attractive um monitor species when it comes to some you know we, we i mean we got stuff like the black roughneck what 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 what, what do you what do you argus monitor roughneck come on which which is better looking let's let's be let's be real here when it comes to the Argus monitor, you just gotta know what you're getting into before getting it. Don't get into this with the expectations that you're gonna tame it down like some sort of water monitor. These are its own species. Of course, they have a more um, reduced personality or um, re re I don't know what the word is. Not as friendly, that's, that's what I'm getting at. But that's not to say they won't make an amazing monitor species to own, an amazing display animal. I mean, come on. Powerful, swole, spunky monitor lizards. That's what you get. That's what you get with the Argus monitor, and honestly, I think it's pretty rad. But moving on, time to get into our next category, and that is going to be number four, the blue-tailed monitor. Personally, for me, I find blue-tailed monitors to be a bit of an uncommon species, and definitely an underrated one. Uh, I kind of suggest the blue-tailed monitor being like the poor man's crocodile monitor. Uh, similar facial structure. I mean, you see the head of a croc monitor and the head of a blue-tailed monitor. They, they seem very similar. Um, similar in beauty, while different. Of course, the croc monitor has those beautiful yellow spots going down. The blue-tailed, while not having such an amazing uh, back pattern, it does make up for it with that gorgeous blue tail. Similar personality. They uh, they both are uh, kind of a dick in that respect. I don't know, man. There's just something about the blue tail monitor that I really love. It, it's definitely a species I want to get into later on. Um, maybe 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 something will happen here within the next year or so. Uh, they're really cool. Of course, blue tails coming in around seven eight hundred dollars. Um, croc monitors coming in at three five grand. It's a uh, it's a pretty easy choice on which one I can feasibly make. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. I like the more obscure stuff than the more like common species that are being shown. I don't know. I just want to be the dude that has the uh, more of the obscure, you know, underrated shit than just the uh, common stuff that's out there. But moving on, we still got a couple of incredible animals to talk about and that's going to bring us to number three, the Timor Monitor. Now, I'm not 100% sure why the Timor monitor is such an underrated species. I find it to be pretty overshadowed by the Aki monitor, of course, being in that dwarf monitor group. You can get these really colorful yellows or reds, like some of the ones I have, which, I, it's understandable. You know, really flashy red monitor or kind of dull, has some yellow spots, but overall it's kind of a duller Aki as far as appearance goes. However, I think the Timor monitor can make an excellent pet, especially for the people that want something arboreal and just really cool looking, but don't necessarily have that size. Of course, Akimaru is being mostly to 
terrestrial monitor species. Uh, just going down, you know, four by two and up will be good for them. Not too much arboreal. Actually, the timber monitors are quite arboreal. Also known as the spotted tree monitor. These guys like to climb and they enjoy being up in the canopy. That can make for some great bioactive enclosure. You know, nice planted viv, having a nice little dwarf monitor in there. It would be pretty cool. And honestly, all in all, I think they make great pets. Then moving on, the last monitor of this list, the most underrated monitor in my humble opinion. Of course, it's going to be, as probably everyone already guessed, number one, the Quince monitor. Oh, I know, I know what you guys are thinking. Dakota, the Quince monitor, again? What, what is it gonna be in like every one of your lists? Yes, it absolutely will be in every one of my lists. The Quince monitors are just simply incredible. Often as I refer to them as the poor man's water monitor, while not taming down as easily as Asian water monitors, you still get semi-aquatic monitors that are also semi-arboreal in a nice compact size with still beautiful coloration. Of course, these guys right now are coming in two different ones as we're getting imported in. That's going to be just a regular yellow spotted and then the high yellows like my first original male um, he is looking just fantastic those high yellows are simply incredible I love just observing the monitor really with me and owning monitor lizards it's not so much being able to tame it down and handle it handle the monitor it seems to be the big craze I love observing it, man. I just love looking. I love looking inside the enclosure and seeing the animals swim around, diving, climbing, things like that. That is really what I enjoy about my monitor species. You'll get all that in more with the quince monitor. Honestly, they are just an incredible species. I, I absolutely adore them. Um, they're awesome. They've never, I've really, I, okay, but I got bit once on that live stream, but other than that one time, I've never been bit by my quince monitors. They're also, they're way more likely to try to run away or musk on you rather than bite you. So you don't really have to worry about that. That, um, they're not that fast. They're not like I, I can handle them pretty well. I really don't handle my monitor as much. I, I don't know. That's, that's just me. And just looking in that tent right now and seeing them, they're awesome. My trio of babies, incredible. My big high yellow, incredible. Quince monitors incredible. That is going to wrap it up for today, folks, but now it's your turn. Leave me a comment in the comment section. What was your favorite monitor lizard today? I bet it was Quince monitor. Say Quince. <laughs> And as I say in all my other videos, huge shout out to Zen Habitats. If you're unfamiliar with Zen Habitats, they make incredible enclosures like this one right here. Wow, that's pretty rad. If you want to check out Zen Habitats or even get more information, possibly buy an enclosure, you can find that right down there in the description at the link below. And of course, in that description, we got a couple more amazing stuff. You know, we got the Facebook, we got the Instagram, we got the TikTok, we got the merch, people. Merch, please, please buy the merch. No one buys my merch. Why? Why? Last but certainly not least, we have Patreon, patreon.com slash dbcbeadzog, so you get the up-to-date updates on everything happening within my business. That includes monitor species eggs going down right now like red ackies. We got the Argus monitor eggs coming at us pretty soon. A couple of other stuff, you know, ball pythons, toke geckos, new Caledonian geckos. We got all the eggs coming. You don't want to miss it, man. It starts as low as $1 a month. That is one McChicken a month to see these amazing animals up close and behind the scenes. Sounds pretty worth it to me. I don't I don't know about you, but it sounds, sounds like a pretty swell deal if you ask me. If you want to learn some more, potentially sign up to be part of the Patreon gang, you can sign right down there, right, right down there in the description. Your name also gets to be in the outro, the one that we are going to play right now.